Hello, I'm Jia Yunfen, Society and Culture Editor at SubChina. By many measures, women in China are gaining social status. According to Hu Run, a Shanghai-based research company, Chinese women accounted for more than half of the total number of self-made female billionaires around the world in 2019, more than any other country. There has also been an astronomical rise in female home ownership. In 2018, nearly half of all home buyers in China were women, whereas they only made up 5% of all property purchases in 2016, just two years ago. It's undeniable that in the past decade, Chinese women have acquired greater decision-making power in both their households and in markets. However, the improved economic status of women has done little to stop rampant sexism in Chinese society. This antiquated attitude towards women is often seen in Chinese advertising. Let's take a look at some of the most egregious examples. In 2017, German car manufacturer Audi released a 30-second TV commercial depicting a wedding. The groom's mother aggressively impacts the bride's physical appearance, pinching her nose, pulling her ear, and forcing the bribe to open her mouth. A voice is heard saying in the end, an important decision must be made carefully. The ad sparked an outcry on Chinese social media, with many accusing the company of comparing women to used cars. About three months later, Swedish furniture chain IKEA caught heat for a television commercial which shows a mother berating her 20-something daughter for not bringing a boyfriend home for dinner. The ad attracted a great deal of criticism on the Chinese internet for its insensitivity towards single women. These women are widely stigmatized as leftover women and face an unfair amount of pressure from their families and the society to get married. More recently, the marketers working for Japanese electronics and entertainment giant Sony in China somehow failed the urge to insult female customers. On social media platform Weibo, which is little like Twitter, the Sony official account wrote, when your girlfriend quizzes you about lipstick shades again, just file back with questions about these lenses. The ad quickly went viral on social media, eliciting a deluge of criticism from people, many of whom were female photographers who know more about these lenses than many men do. When it comes to sexist advertising, Local Chinese brands are no better than their foreign counterparts. Two years ago, Coconut Palm, Ye Shu Pai, a leading coconut milk brand in China, was investigated by local authorities in Hainan for commercials featuring sexual taglines and images of well-endowed models. Chinese e-commerce giant JD.com blatantly offended its female customers in a 2018 marketing campaign. The controversial marketing slogan reads, If you do not put on lipstick, how are you different from a man? Judging from these major missteps, it's evident that sexism is alive and well in Chinese advertising. Even though outcry over gender stereotypes and objectification has become swifter and louder. On a positive note though, several brands have made progress in advertising tactics in China. Japanese skincare brand SK2 has been widely praised over the years for encouraging Chinese women to take control of their future. In 2016, SK2 released a four-minute commercial called The Marriage Market Takeover. The ad is a short documentary featuring women talking about how they are torn between parental pressure to get married and get married to the right person and their own pursuit of independence or true love. The commercial struck a chord with millions of viewers and successfully fully elevated the brand's profile among consumers. I'm Zhao Yingfen with SubChina. If you like our content and want to learn more, please subscribe to our channel or visit our website at subchina.com.